guys help with potty training with new ones? We are on cleanup duty. <laughs> They had no idea what was going to be behind that door. Oh, my. Wow. <laughs> Josie's kind of in that in-between stage. Part of the time she's potty trained, part of the time she's not. So if we smell something, we know that she probably had an accident. Mama, you don't think she has a diaper? Nope. No, she's not potty trained. She went potty upstairs. Mama, it's your I think she <laughs> had an accident. Josie? Josie? Josie, I think she dropped it. Josie, you dropped it. Ah! Mama! How many accidents do you think that you've had to clean up in the last 25 years? Oh, my. <laughs> Josie, that is really gross. <laughs> it's part of the whole process. Josie. Just hold. Well, after having 19 kids, we've seen all the kids have blowouts. And so this wasn't a surprise. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I was very careful how I carried her up the stairs. And I was greeted by Ginger, who volunteered to give her a bath and get her cleaned up. Do you guys help with potty training the little ones? Not too much. We are on cleanup duty. <laughs> you are good to go. I got her up here and got her kind of got the shower going, but uh, she's she she's gave the dirty work to Ginger. Yeah, she didn't mind. <laughs> this is nasty. Hey, Mom. Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? Well, while I was having the children wash up for the meal. Jim Bob came and said that he wanted to talk to me for a minute, and the last time he asked me that, he was wanting to start a family farm. I've been thinking about this whole farm idea, and I don't know if I'm ready to jump in all that right now, but I've got another idea that I think our whole family could work at together. I don't think it would cost us anything. As a matter of fact, it might make us some money. Several years ago, we bought a big building that has several individual warehouse spaces. And we use one of those for our own stuff, and it's about 3,500 square feet. Over the years, as we've had extra stuff, we've just taken it up and put it in this warehouse space, and then we've done that again and again. And I realized that we've got a whole warehouse full of stuff that we just need to clear out. What do you think about a Duggar family flea market? What do you think? <laughs> I think that his flea market idea is a great idea, especially compared to the farm idea. I like that one. Some of the stuff is probably keepsakes. Some of it's stuff we want to get rid of. The main thing I want to do is just clear out the space so we can rent the unit out. If we could figure out a way where we could use the proceeds for the NICU, like a fundraiser for them, and use it for the families. That'd be great. I, I think that would be more our speed. That, I think our family could really get into something like that. After what we went through with Josie, it just makes sense that we could help other families that are going through the same thing. It has been a long time since I have been through the warehouse. And with 19 children and 29 years of marriage, we definitely could expect to have a lot of stuff in storage. Are you ready for this? I don't know. But I had no idea how much was going to be behind that door. Hey, this Man. is 30 years worth of marriage. Oh, boy. We've got leftover furniture from greenhouses and all kinds of stuff and of stuff this. we bought over the years. Michelle couldn't believe all the stuff that we have in the warehouse space. We have everything from leftover construction equipment. We have kids' toys. We have clothes. Here's my...